No? Okay. <laughs> hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a crock pot themed video. These are our crock pot favorite recipes. This video is in collaboration with Kat over at Southern Farm and Kitchen. I'll have all her information listed down below. Y'all know how much I love her. She's such a good friend of mine. She makes amazing recipes. So make sure you go over when you're done with my video and go check out her crock pot recipes. I already know what, they're, what some of them are and they look amazing. So let's go ahead and get started. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to another crock pot video. We're starting off this video with our favorite French onion burgers. I've shared these before. Y'all, these are so delicious. This is one of Luke's favorite crock pot meals that I make. So all you're gonna need is some hamburger patties. Use as many as you need in your family. Uh, you'll need one can of French onion soup mix. And then I add extra onion. Um, the recipe that I found in the cookbook that I used um, doesn't call for that. And I added that in and Luke always enjoys it because he can put the cooked onions on top of his burger with the cheese and buns. So you will also need some hamburger buns of your choice and provolone cheese. So let's go ahead and get this all put together. It's gonna be delicious, y'all. So I got my pan over here getting nice and hot. We're gonna sear these off. You just wanna sear them, walk in the flavor, the seasoning that you're putting on here. And searing them will also help reduce grease in your crock pot as they cook. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna season them on both sides and then we'll get them put in our pan. So now that our patties are all seared off, we're gonna go ahead and add half of our French onion, a little bit of it in the bottom, just so the burgers don't sit directly on the crock pot. Then we're gonna add our burgers in. Then we're gonna add the rest of our French onion. Try to get it on top. If you have a bunch of patties that you need to make, like a big family, then I would recommend using two cans. But four or five patties for one can is pretty good. Then we're gonna take our onion and we're just gonna Put it on top. Set it on low and we're gonna cook it for about six to eight hours. It's about time to eat y'all. Oh. oh, they look so good. They smell delicious. So we are going to serve them up. I got some buns here. Uh, if I have, with, if I pull buns from the freezer, I always like to kind of toast them up just to give them a little oomph because sometimes they're not very good. <laughs> coming from the freezer so I always just spray them with some butter spray and then I have them face down and we'll put them in the air fryer once the french fries get done 
or once our potatoes get done. And then we always serve this with provolone cheese. So good, y'all. So, so good. And here is Luke's plate. Y'all know I don't eat the actual onions, but the flavor is really good. We just serve it with the provolone cheese, and we had some Parmesan roasted potatoes. I have a whole separate video on that, so I'll have it linked down below for you guys. Here is another one of our favorite crock pot recipes. This is Italian chicken pasta, y'all. It is so easy. All you need is two good sized chicken breasts. Um, you need a can of cream of chicken, a thing of a zesty Italian. This one had a hole in it, so that's why it's in a baggie. And then a block of cream cheese. And then you'll need pasta later on once you're ready to shred the chicken and toss in the pasta. So I'm gonna set you up, show you how to put it together. This is so easy, y'all, and so delicious. Okay, right, so you got your chicken already in here. We're gonna take and sprinkle your packet of zesty Italian on top. Then you're gonna go in with your can of cream of chicken. Then I like to could just kind of spread it on top of the chicken. And then you're gonna take your block of cream cheese and just sit it on top, don't mix it in. Just drop it on top and then it's gonna soften as it heats um, you know, up and cook through and then you can just mix it in once the chicken's ready to be shredded. So I'm just going to cook this on low for about four to six hours. Oh, I'm so excited. This is one of our favorite crock pot recipes. Here is what it looks like, y'all. It is all done. And I'm going to take and shred this up. And then I have got some water over here boiling and we are going to cook our noodles and then we will add it into our crock pot. So clearly I was super hungry and excited to eat. I forgot to get a picture of my plate. I'm just going to add this one in from last time we had this. This is definitely one of those monthly rotation recipes as well, y'all. We're going to be trying a new crock pot recipe today. We are doing some brown sugar bacon chicken. Um, this just sounded really good. So I just took my chicken thighs and I seasoned them on both sides with the SPG and I made sure to lay them out flat that way I got seasoned the inside. But I'm going to take and wrap them kind of wrap them back up. And then you're going to take and you're going to wrap your chicken 
around the bacon. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back. Okay, so I'm doing this a little different than the way the recipe says because it says to um, rub the garlic, salt, and pepper on the chicken before you wrap it, but I kind of want the flavors all to marry together. So I seasoned it with the SPG where the chicken still is going to have flavor, wrapped it in the bacon. Now I'm going to rub the garlic, salt, pepper on the bacon. If you don't like minced garlic, you can use uh, powder. Do much salt because the bacon's gonna have a lot of salt, so pepper. says add to your slow cooker and then we're going to top it with our brown sugar it says just put it on top so I'm gonna make sure to get all this good garlic flavor in here so we don't lose out on that I don't want to waste that garlic Sure. I'll have this full recipe listed down below for you guys so y'all can uh, have it. <clears throat> and the best part about chicken thighs only take about two and a half to three hours to cook so we're gonna push it back set it on low let it cook till it's all done we're gonna give it a try it smells good so we're gonna serve it with I've got some broccoli here that I just um, cooked in the microwave added some butter salt pepper garlic powder onion powder to it and then I made a mess with the salt y'all and then I've got some long grain white rice here. Just cooking up a box of that. That's how we're gonna serve it. Dinner's almost done. Y'all, we absolutely loved this. This will definitely be part of our Crock-Pot favorites rotation. This was so good. I was wondering about it because there wasn't like a sauce so I was curious on how it was kind of going to be with just a chicken breast and the rice and the broccoli but y'all the chicken was had so much flavor it was so delicious highly recommend this recipe and that's it y'all I hope you enjoyed these three super easy and delicious family favorite crock pot recipes I love using my crock pot in the summer I don't have to heat the house up as much don't forget that this video was in collaboration with Kat over at Southern Farm and Kitchen. I will have all her information listed down below. Hope you all have a fabulous week and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.